Thank you, Roman. And uh, we're back in the studio. And uh, with me now, we have a bunch of people. We have uh, what we call the ICPC Live Analysts. These are uh, the brains of the operation. Uh, they uh, analyze the problems, they solve the problems, and they, they look at the, all the teams to find out what they're doing, what they're working on. And this is where we get all the information. This is where we got uh, all the insight. So we got Frederick uh, Heinz, which is the, uh, the uh, Head, head the lead of the, that organization. Uh, we got uh, Job Eldering, uh, we got uh, Jakob Glugash, uh, two of the analysts, and also to make this even worse for everybody involved, uh, we got Derek Kisman, who's actually uh, one of the judges, and he's not only one of the judges, he is the judge that won uh, the, uh, or what was the name of the prize? The, the, 20, the 2013, this year's uh, judge award winner, so he's, he's the best judge. <laughs> Uh, and uh, so if these guys, they're, they're gonna, the analysts are going to go through a problem for us with a solution. And this, they haven't, you know, they just read the problem for, what, 10 minutes? And so, but they have the judge here who can correct them if they do any errors. Isn't this a lovely setup? Yes. Yes. <laughs> this was totally unplanned, so that's perfect. Okay, let's see. Go for yeah, it. So, okay, so let me just start with uh, problem D. Uh, it's called factors, and it's turned out to be one of the easiest problems. I think up to now there's been a number of already... I don't know, you, you have probably better data, but there's already the highest, this is the highest solved uh, problem. Tonight. Six prob uh, solved. On yes, okay. Right. So what is the problem about? Um, it's quite easy. You get a number, say in this case 20, and then you can look at kind of a possible way to factor this number into prime numbers. So one way to factor this number 20 is like saying writing it as 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, uh, wait a second. Uh, production says that uh, your sound is not coming in uh, good. We need to get a can mic in here real quick. So then we, we can... Need a microphone. Um, take the opportunity to say that we have a new leader. So the St. Petersburg National Research University of IT Mechanics and Optics oh. solved their fourth problem. So the local team is now in the lead with four solved problems after an hour. So which is pretty impressive or very impressive. <laughs> this is a bit scary, we only got 11. But yes. what do we expect? You, you have to explain yourself soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we have been told that there are three really hard problems. Okay. So hopefully, it hopefully that, will keep, that will keep them busy for the next four hours. We now have a uh, microphone for Jop, so. Okay, so I hope this works better. Um, okay, so the, the problem is here to factor uh, numbers, and you can factor a number in, in, well, different ways because we're actually looking at the order that we write down the, the factorization. So as you see here, we can write it down in, in either, um, um, well, first two times two times five, or two times five times two, or five times time two times two. So this is three ways to, to factor this number. Um, oh, sorry, let me just put this down. <laughs> and um, so in this case, we have three ways. And now this problem is, is, is asking the following. Given a, a number k, which, which describes the number of ways that you can factor a number, find the smallest number n, such that this, this, uh, this n has precisely this k, k number of ways of to, to factor it, uh, to write the different possible ways of writing the factorization. Um, and the way to, to solve this as well, I mean, yeah, and okay, I forgot about, yeah, so the, 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 the bounds are such that, that these numbers, both k and n, are always guaranteed to be less than 2 to the power 20, uh, 63, which is a very kind of a large number. Um, so you can't just try all of them. Um, but, well, what you have to realize is that actually the only numbers that are relevant are about 40,000 numbers. Um, so the way to um, to look at this, well, of course, in the end, actually, what only re is, is, is relevant is the, 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 the kind of the powers of the, of the prime factors. I mean, if, we, if we'd written, like, instead of 5, had written a 7 here, so we'd have gotten 28, um, we'd still have the same number of ways of factorization. Um, so we can actually look at all possible, say, if I have 2 to the power P1 times 3 to the power P3, times five, oh sorry, P2, uh, P3, and so on, up to a certain uh, number of prime factors. Then we're looking for these numbers P1 up to Pn, um, such that they, that, that, that um, well, the, the possible combinations of ordering them is going to be K, and that the total number sums up to N. And, um, well, then always the best solution, kind of if we want to find the minimum n, then always it means that we have to kind of put the highest number p in, in um, kind of as a power to, p, to, to the lowest prime number and kind of decreasing, decreasing um, um, numbers going there. And it turns out that you can basically just kind of 
recursively try to find all these possible factors um, um, that that are that yeah um, um, here and just well if you have these then um, let me see just plug them in say see what number if the number uh, comes well um, okay sorry and so given given a set of numbers p1 up to p p something then the the number of ways to generate something like this is is a multifactorial. So this is going well. Okay, so multifactorial is it's, it's a simple formula to calculate, and then so you want to check that that actually that for that multifactorial comes out as as k, and on the other hand you want to calculate uh, check that this this thing comes out as n, and then you just iterate over all possible um, um, possible uh, of these 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 choices of 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 the p's, and this is feasible because this is only about forty thousand of them. Um, yeah, so that's the problem. It turned out to be one of the easier problems as soon as I think as you realize that this this is approximately the number uh, kind of a, a feasible number to 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 calculate and uh, I think itma was the first one to solve it um, and they first had a wrong submission because they were not cutting off at the boundary of of, of kind of the, the the maximum input number um, so that gave them a, a penalty to a time of twenty minutes, but then they they afterwards quickly solved it. So we can say that after one hour, eight teams have solved this problem on 26 tries. So quite a lot of failed submissions. Right. But it's actually only the second most solved problem. Yes. Right. So the most solved problems after one hour is problem F, right. which is uh, 67 successful submissions. So, so Derek, uh, is this, in, I know, uh, well, I think I know that the judges always have a betting where they predict which problems will be solved first? I think D was one of the problems that we predicted. <laughs> um, I, I personally chose F. Well, <laughs> I think you were right then. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. So, <laughs> tooting my own horn there. Right, absolutely. <laughs> Please do. Um, other problems were A and J that we thought might be the first to be solved. Oh, wow. Uh, because J, uh, let's see here. Uh, J has J not was so Yeah, J was Only two solutions. Maryland. Two yeah. solutions. A has got three solutions, whereas F got 67. Yep. Right. Nice. So F is definitely the most solved problems. There, there's, of course, some level of uh, um, snowballing effect here. As Absolutely. soon as 15 yes. teams solve problem F, then everybody else goes for that one, even though it might not be the easiest one. So. And the interesting thing is, I believe A is actually the e easiest problem, but there's no snowballing effect because uh, it's deceptive. Right. If you actually realize it's an easy problem, you can just bang it out, no problem. But the teams aren't looking around and seeing a whole lot of A balloons around it. Right, right, right. That's very interesting. This is why I love having the judges in here because <laughs> because you, you get the you, you get to hear the inside story of how they're trying to fool the teams. So actually, we have this what we call an activity graph where we can see how many teams are actually working on uh, each of the particular problems. So what we can see here is that a lot of teams are actually starting working on A. But then as soon, and also on D, and then as soon as they start solving F, basically the whole crowd jumped to problem F, which is now the most worked on problem together with problem D. But we can also see that a lot of teams are working on problem J and problem A. So hopefully they, they will realize that problem A is easy and start solving it. We'll see. We, we see that Itmo in the lead, they are now started working on problem C. Uh, but they also have a solution on problem J on the way. So they're definitely pipelining. And uh, would you say that C or J are one of the easier problems, Derek? Uh, definitely, yeah. C, okay. is, C is fairly easy. Okay, so uh, Itmo is doing the right thing. Yep. Uh, that, that's good to hear. So now, wh which are the hard problems? Oh, the hard problems, uh, I'm not sure I know the letters. Uh, G is the hardest problem, uh, uh, without you, a doubt. University of Warsaw just tried to submit on G. Really? Yeah. Well, that's there's, there's clearly a strategy of going for a problem that no one else is going for, right? Because the first to solve, there's a prize attached. Absolutely, but they may have bitten so off more than they can chew. Right, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not so sure it's good to try to get the first to solve. I, uh, I would say winning the contest is more important. Yes. But, well, uh, if, you, if you're pipelining over five hours, you can aim at you know, a split strategy, right? You, you need to solve more than one problem oh, anyway. Oh, sure, sure. And we can see that on ITMU. They are, yeah. they are currently working on two of the problems. Uh, 